Tiris and welcome to the How to Paint an Urukai video. At first, after I have uh, spray painted the whole model in Chaos Black, I make a slightly dry brush with a 50-50 mix of Chaos Black and Podcon Metal. Now I paint the entire skin with dark flesh. Here I paint the cloth of uh, the Orokai in snake bite leather. Also, his hair I cover now with snake bite leather. The leather wrappings around his arm I paint in bestial brown. Also, all the bells are now painted in bestial brown. At this stage I ink the whole model with butter black. After the ink is dry, I start highlighting the skin. I start with uh, applying again the dark flesh, and this at this stage I've uh, toned it a little bit down with cast black. And uh, further on, I take pure dark flesh and then highlight it with snake bite leather to make it a little bit brighter. Now I paint again the clothes with snake bite leather. Keep in mind that when you highlight something like that, uh, you leave a little bit of the dark color behind to uh, create shadows. Also a dry brush with a 50-50 mix of uh, snake bite leather and Chaos Black, the hairs. Now I uh, start to highlight the armor with slight um, edge highlights in Volcan Metal. Pure school white, I now paint in freehanding the white hand symbol from Zara. Now it's time to make the base. I uh, paint the whole base with uh, white glue and then I dip the whole miniature into sand. Dip it off and then I glue uh, two pieces of cork also on the base and let this completely dry. After the glue is dry, I paint the whole base and the core parts with devil and mud. After this stage is also dry, I dry brush now the whole surface first with 
scorched brown and then I highlight it a little bit with snake bite leather followed by cortex grey to give it a, a nice three dimensional look. At the end I will uh, paint the base corner in cortex grey and ever now your Orokai is finished. I hope you liked this little tutorial and we will see us in the next video. See you! You're Alexandra!